the end off on the bandsaw. So now I am going to heat this up and do my best to pound out a general blade shape. Okay, so I know I really didn't do a whole lot. I'm gonna grind it out nice, but I do want the spine to have some nice mill scale. All right, so I am gonna hit the grinder and do my best to shape this thing out so I can put a bevel on it and give her a heat treat, see what happens. Alright, so I have it kind of rough ground, I think it's a 30 grit. So I'm going to hit it with a 120 and then heat treat it. Okay, it's still pretty warm, but just kind of want to show you on camera that it did harden. So we're going to go ahead and throw it in the temper. I know 5160, if you do 300 for three hours, that's a pretty good soak, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So here's the blade out of heat treat and temper. I hit it with a 120 belt and then with a 250 scotch bright belt. The big thing I forgot to tell you to do is if you're drilling handle holes, do that prior to heat treat. Now it's time to do the handles. In this particular case, I chose some walnut. You want to make sure that your scales are nice and flat. So the way I do that is this is just a piece of tile. Um, find something that's really flat, spray adhesive, and then put your sandpaper on this. And then, you know, some guys will do a figure eight or whatever, but ultimately you're just trying to apply even pressure across that whole scale so everything is nice and flat, especially relative to each other, because you're gonna tape these things together and drill everything at once. So anything that's not flat, it's gonna throw your holes off. So now I have the handles taped together. It's good to leave some material on both ends because you drill your holes first and then you kind of shape the handle around it, always keeping these in mind. Then I, I basically shape the front end and the back end and then glue up. So I've glued it up with this big giant block just the way it is. And then you can sand everything away after it's pinned and glued. So I've got my holes drilled and since I do a lot of knives, I actually made removable pins. You can just use the pins that uh, you intend to put in here too. It's just easier to get these in and out. But that way, so I've got my front and back marked off because I need to finish these beforehand because once they're attached to the knife, you really can't get in. You try to get in there and sand these and then you end up jacking up the knife. They're taped together tight. Uh, the X's still line up and the pins are in so that way i'm sure that this is basically like having them on the knife itself so they're not going to move around relative to each other so i have the handles shaped and dry fit at this point this is the way you always you always want to make sure that your pins are going to go all the way through give you no problems because there's nothing worse than uh, having a bunch of epoxy mixed up and then your pins are giving you problems. I finished the back and the fronts. Prior to glue up, I take uh, painter's tape or blue tape and tape the entire blade off right up next to the scale. And same, you know, this is different. I don't usually have this on a knife, but 
I'll tape this all up too so that way everything gets glued together nothing gets on this blade which is you know 90% finished so you're not causing yourself any rework so I've got it all glued up a lot of guys use this G flex uh, marine grade epoxy from West system and it works really well you make sure that you've got even coverage uh, on the spine on both sides don't tighten them too much you got to leave room for some glue you want everything to be nice and tight but don't manhandle it too much because you'll squeeze all the glue up. So I'm going to let this uh, set for a while and then I will get back to finishing once it's cured. Okay, so here's the final product. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I left some of the natural patina there on the flats. It's got a nice sharp edge. The walnut turned out nice. I think I'm going to fill this with a little super glue but it's still a solid handle. I tried to patina the copper pins uh, with some vinegar, but I guess it takes longer than just kind of dabbing it on there because I like the way this forged natural look is. I don't know, but I'm gonna have to test it to see if it opens a beer bottle. But overall, I'm real happy with the project. I might have to make another one. Um, thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something. If you found this video to be valuable, uh, please, like my page, 51 Bravo, out.